What's good, boys? It's Mason, a.k.a. Real NBA Quotes on Instagram, a.k.a. Who's Tyrone on Instagram. I'm part of the Melting Shot, and today we're going to be playing a game called Crossover Grid. Um, today is July 9th, so this is going to be going up on the 10th, so obviously this shouldn't be a spoiler for anybody who hasn't played yet. But anyway, how this game works, if you don't know, is basically there's this grid. So like for this tile right here, for example, I have to name a player who played for both the Raptors and the Warriors. And then for this one, I have to do Warriors and someone who averaged 10 plus rebounds per game in a single season. Um, and then we're going to take this team, nine guys, and we're going to put it in 2k. If I miss a guess, I'm going to get like a gray tile. So I can't guess again. And, um, we're going to have to put a 40 overall in the rotation. All nine guys have to play. So the 40 overall, we'll be getting minutes and our goal is to win a championship. So, Obviously, we want minimum 40 overalls playing on our team. Anyway, looking at this grid, the first guy that comes to mind is Wilt. Uh, everyone's in their prime, so we need some all-time greats for sure. Uh, one of the best centers ever right here. Um, 100 plus three-pointers made in the Raptors. Ooh, I feel like Vince Carter and Kawhi have probably done it, right? But I'm nervous to guess them. So I think I'm going to go Kyle Lowry. Because I know for a fact Kyle Lowry has done it. And we can't have 40 overalls on the team. Only 26%. So that tells me that Vince and Kawhi have probably done it. Um, but oh well. Um, so for this one, Kemba comes to mind. But I think it makes sense to use Kemba right here. Because I can't think of Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Uh, Jamal Mashburn. But I can't think of too many other players that fit that. So I feel like Kemba makes the most sense. But here we can go like Del Curry or even LaMelo. Did the, has LaMelo made 100 threes in a season? Oh, I don't know if LaMelo is really making threes like that. Okay, for this 10 rebounds per game and 100 three-pointers, it's, uh, it's only great because I clicked it and then clicked off. I actually haven't guessed yet. But I'm going with Carl Anthony Towns for this. I can't think of anyone that better fits it that also would be correct uh, so yeah now we have Mavericks and 10 plus rebounds per game Hornets and 100 three pointers made right now Del Curry and LaMelo Ball is who I'm cycling between um, and then these Golden State guys with Hornets and Raptors both such young franchises that's tough because oh I'm glad we didn't even guess Vince anyway because Vince Carter goes perfectly here and that makes our team a lot better. Wow, 71%. I don't know why I'm surprised by that, actually. I can't think of literally anyone else to play for both franchises. Um, for Hornets and 100 plus three-pointers, I think I have to go LaMelo. Because even if it's Del Curry, I mean, Del Curry doesn't really move the needle that much anyway. Okay, cool. LaMelo Ball. So we have a pretty stacked roster. Um, but right now, we kind of need some wings. We have a lot of guards. Vince Carter can play wing, sure. But, like, we need another one, you know? 10 plus rebounds per game and Mavericks. Dirk, I don't think he ever did it. I think his career high in a single season is like 8, maybe 8.1. Um, Tyson Chandler would work. We could get a deep boy and run Cat at the 4 and then have Tyson Chandler off the bench. Uh, who else fits that? <laughs> Christian Wood, I guess. Maybe. I don't even actually know. Probably not. Uh, I don't think Luke has gotten it, un unfortunately. Yeah, I think I think it makes the most sense to go Tyson Chandler right here. I don't I can't think of anyone else. And yeah, 63%. That's what a lot of guys are guessing. So now if it's just these Warriors guys. So right now Jeremy Lin and Pat McCall come to mind for this. Um Jeremy Lin comes to mind here too, I guess. But I literally don't have any other guesses. Am I gonna have to play Jeremy Lin and Pat McCall? I'm gonna sit here and think about this for a second. But I don't want to spend too much time. Raptors and Warriors. Leonardo Barbosa just came to mind. The Brazilian bur blur. Uh, what? Barbosa. Leandro Barbosa. The Brazilian burr. Only 3% too. I'm proud of that. Um, and then Hornets and Warriors. There's got to be somebody better than Jeremy freaking Lin. Um, man. Who else has done it? Who else has played for both teams? This, why is this tough? Because, like, the Hornets are, the Hornets' history is kind of a mess as is. And then they're so new. Are the are the Charlotte Hornets the same as the New Orleans Hornets? Like, is Chris, does Chris Paul count? Because that would be cooler than Jeremy Lin. But I don't know if Chris Paul counts. 
because he hasn't really played for the Warriors. On top of that, I don't even know if that's if he's like he was a New Orleans Hornet. You know, is that the Pelicans' history or is that Charlotte's history? It's confusing. Um, who are some wings that Golden State that maybe only stuck around for a season or two? Iguodala would be sick, but he obviously hasn't played for Charlotte. Um, I might end up having to go Jeremy Lin here, even though that's such a sad, sad guess. <sighs> Screw it, I have nobody else in mind. It's such a sad, it's such a sad, sad guess, but okay, really, but. Jeremy Lamb. Like, I don't want to go through this. That's cheating. So we'll just go Jeremy Lamb. Only 7%. Who am I not thinking of? But uh, regardless, let's get this team in 2K and see how they do. Okay, so I've now put the team in 2K. And uh, it's interesting to say the least. We have starting point guard, 6 foot Kyle Lowry. Starting shoot gu shooting guard, 6 foot 1 Kemba Walker. Starting small forward, 6 foot 6 Vince Carter. And then... Uh, seven foot Carl Towns at the four, uh, seven foot one beast Will Chamberlain at the five, and then we have Lamelo Ball, who I meet a small forward to make the minutes make him a little more sense, and his overall actually stays out the same. Jeremy Lin, who I was hating on, ended up having a really good car or really good two K overall. He's our backup two, um, or our backup one. I mean Tyson Chandler, who doesn't have a card on the Knicks, but has one on the Mavs, which is weird to me because he was an All Star with the Knicks, but not with the Mavs, and uh. I think he should be on the Knicks team. And then Barbosa, who I was so proud of, and his best 2K overall 77, which is horrible considering he averaged, I think, 17 or 18 points for a season of his career. But regardless, this is the team. Can they win a championship? I don't know. Um, the fit's kind of weird. Overall, we, we are decently stacked. Um, so let's go ahead and simulate the, the first game and see how we do. Uh, disable trades. Uh, so, let's see. We look pretty good. Wilt might have an MVP and a DPOY season. He only missed two shots. Uh, Kyle Lowry came to play. Vince, we're going to need more than that from you, my boy. Uh, let me go look at shot tendencies right now, actually, because you know how this game is. Um, uh, okay. All these guys seem to have high have tendencies where I like anyway, so... Uh, so yeah, we're uh, we're gonna go ahead and simulate to uh, we'll simulate to the All Star break, see if we have any All Stars, and then we will um, simulate the rest of the season, and I'll see you guys then. So the team is absurdly good, um, as you can tell. Wilt is an All Star starter. Uh, auto draft the remaining pick. So we have Will is an All Star starter. Vince Carter is an All Star starter. Um, that appears to be oh Cat, which I guess. I don't know if that's our cat or their cat because I didn't take the other cat out of the league. Um, and I don't even know if I can... Okay, that's not our cat. That's their cat. So, regardless, we have two All-Stars and we are 46-7. and seven, So, we're pretty amazing. Let's go to the end of the season. Okay, so, Wilt won MVP. Like I said, he might. Um, Victor did... Almost had Wilt numbers. <laughs> won Rookie of the Year. Wilt also won DPOY. And as you can tell, we won Coach of the Year. We also were the greatest NBA team of all time. So, uh, first team, Wilt Chamberlain. Um, Vince Carter, third team. Any other def all defense? Uh, doesn't look like it. But that's all right anyway, because this is what we care about is the playoffs. So, let's simulate the play in. And we're playing the, the Cavs. What, bro? The Cavs are demons in 2K. I swear if the Cavs put us out because for no reason, injuries are off, so why are they in the play-in? I don't even know. Um, let's go ahead and simulate the game. Oh my gosh, 1-1. One, one. We're up 2-1. <laughs> We're tied 2-2. Two, two. We're up 3-2. Okay, we get out of the first round. Honestly, I feel a lot more confident against Philly than I did against Cleveland. We're up 1-0. 2-0. 3-0. 4-0. And we are heading to the conference finals. Um, I will jump in if I think it's necessary. We're down 1-0. We're down 2-0 to Boston. No. Okay, fight back, boys. Come on. No, we're down 3-1, bro. Oh, my gosh. It's because they got Kristaps, bro. Look at this team. How are we supposed to beat this team? This team is demons. Oh, my gosh. This team is ridiculous. I mean, our team is better. Our team is way better, but... 
2K gonna 2K. I mean, I know we can fight back. Um, we can't change the rotation because all of our guys have to play, and we got eliminated. So, <laughs> day one, we lose. Um, I guess I could have probably picked someone better than Man Joe Barbosa. Maybe, maybe that would have helped. Maybe he was the weak link. Uh, let's look at our playoff stat, our player static, ah, player statistics in the playoffs. Will 28 and 14. Towns was great. Campbell was great. Vince. Vince, bro, you kind of let us down, which for some reason he only played 33 minutes. I don't know why, but Vince, you kind of let us down, man. We needed more than 18 points per game from you. Um, Barbosa, yeah, you suck. Uh, why was I proud of that pick, bro? You, you're horrible. Um, 2K did you dirty. You shot 32%, bro. Oh, my gosh. LaMelo and Vince were efficient. Wilt, efficient's an understatement, and... Um, Mariah Mills versus Jason Tatum. Uh, I feel like the Celtics better win. If they're going to beat us, they better at least win it all. And they win it all. Tatum um, Tatum wins finals MVP. But let me know if you guys like this. It sucks we didn't get a win. But let me know if you guys like this and we'll, we'll do it again. Although I do think it'd be more impressive if we tried to go 0-82. Because then instead of getting all the popular good players everyone else is guessing, I'd have to try to guess guys like Leandro Barbosa. But also, making the team on 2K would probably be annoying. I'd have to do, like, only act. That's beside the point. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, uh, like and comment. Let me know if you guys want more. See you, boys.